Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. In this example, we're going to do a multi-trace analysis with a little twist. This is uh, two trace files captured not through a routed network, uh, nor a bridged or switched network, but through, in this case, a NAT device. And you have to be careful to make sure you understand if you're NATting or padding, and it's exactly how the vendor does it. Uh, in this case, I've got a little cheap and cheerful Netgear uh, router that NATs. And I've captured on the WAN side, the LAN side, and here we go. We have two trace files. And you can see here's the WAN side and here's the LAN side. So I'm going to show you tips and tricks, things you can try to use to try to find the same packet on both sides of this conversation. Uh, the first one is uh, good old DNS. DNS has something called a transaction ID, which we can use. So what I'm going to do is not apply this as a filter. This time I'm going to go to copy this as a filter. And when I do that, I can come over here and i got two options. I can either find there it is so now I've actually found it or if I want to analyze it I can actually use that as my display filter and now I can see two packets two packets I can also look at the latency here and see that was 32 and 32 latency was less than a millisecond that sort of thing all right let's move on to the next example um, big thing I like to do is go for the application layer so good old HTTP if you want to try to make it easier on your brain you can just type in an HTTP display filter you'll see your gets you'll see your responses and same over here you'd see the same thing so what I'm gonna do is again go to my detail screen and I'm going to come down here and you've got lots of stuff you can pick from but you want to find something unique so you know what I usually use right here the date so I'm gonna again copy that as a filter and I will just simply I'll do a display filter and I'll do a display filter just to make sure I've got them and there they are so now I can easily take this a step further I can right click conversation filter by IP and right click and conversation filter by IP and as you can see the IPs whoops I double click there the IPs are not the same on both sides see so this is a good way to try to find those packets and now that I've done that I can actually see uh, my SynSynAC and my SynSynAC and if I start paying attention I'll see my 40 and I'll see my fo uh, sorry 41 and 40 so there was a, a millisecond difference between those two packets and that sort of thing you can also find out that they get dropped they get out of sequence and all that good stuff so quick 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 primer on that sorry for the high resolution video but that's the only way I can get the stuff on the screen hope that helps and have a good day bye for now